Hello, cooking enthusiasts. My name is Quinn, and I am an experimental cook with a physical disability. Normally, I like to do pretty ambitious and elaborate projects, but today I have an actual honest-to-goodness cooking hack to show you. Can you tell I'm hoping this video does well? Now, there's lots of great techniques and tricks for making hollandaise, but what my trick does is address all of those issues and address a few others that I feel haven't been addressed. My cooking hack is using a store bought Caesar dressing as a percentage of your hollandaise sauce ingredients. In this particular footage, I have one egg and one egg yolk, which was about 80 grams, 120 grams of Caesar dressing, and 150 grams of butter. So in this instance, my hollandaise sauce is going to end up being roughly 30% Caesar dressing, which is relatively high, but I think this trick would work with as little as 10% of your mixture being Caesar dressing. So the first major advantage of this technique is the ease of which you can make the hollandaise sauce. That's because of several factors. Firstly, even a really high quality Caesar dressing is going to have quite a few emulsifiers and stabilizers added in, which I know some people get a little bit squeamish about, but it personally doesn't bother me, and you can probably find a brand of dressing that minimizes that while still adding some extra stability. The second reason this works is that instead of trying to form a new emulsion, you are essentially mixing existing emulsions together and just gently heating the eggs. As you can see, the sauce came together in literally about two minutes without even very vigorous whisking, and I did check the temperature and it hit at least 66 Celsius, so the eggs were completely cooked. And the sauce just needed a tiny bit of salt, pepper, fresh lemon zest, and a little bit of lemon juice, and it was pretty much perfect. I was actually using a relatively cheap brand of Caesar dressing, but you can really get some nice ones that contain real garlic and parmesan, etc. So the second big advantage of this technique is flavor, especially when you use a relatively large percentage of the dressing in your sauce. The third big advantage of this technique, and the one I was really excited about, is that it lets me fudge the ratios a little bit and act as almost a filler. The Caesar dressing added relatively intense flavor and stability, so instead of using just egg yolks, I was able to use one egg yolk and one whole egg. If I was going to make 
this amount of hollandaise sauce with a more conventional recipe, I would have needed at least three or four egg yolks, and that would have produced four egg whites that generally go to waste. I can especially see a situation if you're planning Eggs Benedict for a crowd. You have a certain amount of eggs to both serve people and use for the sauce. If one or even two extra people show up, the Caesar dressing can act again as this kind of filler ingredient. So your hollandaise sauce uses less eggs, but it still tastes really good and adds even extra stability. As a final little benefit, I found the sauce was so stable, I was able to reheat it the next day. After refrigerating the leftover hollandaise sauce, I reheated it gently in the circulator the next day. It did break slightly, but came back together just by stirring it with a fork. So that's pretty much it for this video. Use between 10 to 40 percent of Caesar dressing as your hollandaise sauce ingredients. Stir the eggs, dressing, and solid butter together over a double boiler, and the hollandaise sauce will come together very easily. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you try this out, please let me know, and please consider sharing this video if you liked it. Feel free to leave a question in the comments about this technique or about food in general. Otherwise, thank you for watching.